Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm again very sorry for not posting in so long. I am not even promising anymore because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to post um, very often in the next few months because it's just my life is so intense right now. I This is the first day in forever that I just have a whole day to study or to like be by myself and kind of clean up my room and just do stuff because otherwise whenever I have some time for myself I spend it with my boyfriend but today he has like a um something from his sport that he does the whole day so I was like okay let me just take the day and just not 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 do anything but just chill and I don't know process my life and study or better said write my papers that I have to write and I haven't been doing even though I should <laughs> um anyway um two, I think yesterday or two days ago something very funny happened kind of funny it's actually not funny but <laughs> I had to laugh a little bit so I still haven't really opened up about my ED or my past ED struggles to my boyfriend because I just don't really see the need because right now I'm so good and I really don't struggle and he during some time he made some comments about like healthy food and now he just doesn't anymore I don't know why maybe he realized that I don't like him doing that and also usually he doesn't care the only thing he cares is like trying to be more vegetarian for the environment but yeah which I find great <laughs> don't get me wrong um, and so I think yesterday he sometimes he he's on Twitter just looking at some weird ass posts that are recommended and yeah it was morning and he was checking the phone and there was this one post about someone with an ED or like two people with an ED but one with anorexia and the other one with oh, I think binge eating but they called it eating addiction but it was in German and then on the top someone who like reposted this video he wrote TW ED which for me is clear trigger warning ED eating disorder and he didn't know what it meant and he was like well, what does that mean and I was like trigger warning eating disorder because for me it's just so clear because this has been my topic for like two years or three or four years actually and I could tell him all of the terms <laughs> and he just looked at me he was like why do you know that and I was like I know everything which is a very typical answer so he didn't question it but yeah, I don't know. It just wasn't the right time to open up because we had to hurry someone somewhere else. But I think next time something like that happen happens, I'm just gonna tell him. But I don't know, it just takes so much courage. I mean, it has happened, but I'm just so scared that he won't get it because I'm... I just feel like if you meet someone and they have no issues eating... Or anything like really I'm so chill I'm the most chill person now when it comes to food I don't give a shit whether it has a lot of calories or it doesn't blah blah and so I feel like it's hard for people to understand that you can change so much because there's this very general conception that once you have an ED you will never really get over it and I think actually it's true for a lot of people because they do recovery the wrong way they still try to be healthy and not overdo it on the sweets, blah blah blah, which just keeps them in the ED. Because in your recovery, you have to overdo it. <laughs> it just is the way how it works. And yeah, so I feel like a lot of people, yeah, it just doesn't work out for them because they try to be in a still normal bubble while recovering, but you have to go the other extreme, in my opinion. So yeah, that's kind of it. Um, my little update i don't have energy for a long video uh, but i'm just i'm still i hate when people take 
zero or low calorie drinks. I don't know why it triggers me so much. But I'm also because my best friend she also always tries like those low cal calorie products and it annoys me so much. I don't know. And also she always tells me, oh, I haven't had any food today. <laughs> like girl, it's not a flex. <laughs> um yeah. It's fine. I mean it doesn't trigger me that much as when I was in my uni. Back then it was really like my whole mood depended on it. Um, and now I'm just like, girl, why? <laughs> it doesn't, yeah, I mean, sometimes I also don't have time to eat, but I still make myself eat something, like, on the way, if I don't have time to sit down. Like, you can always find a way to eat something, or drink at least something with the calories, but, yeah. Anyway, what I wanted to say is that uh, I continue my observations, you know, about who takes zero products, who doesn't, and it's not always the case, but oftentimes people who take like normal coke are super skinny, so go for the sugary versions, I just feel like people who don't care about the food, they are the naturally, they're really at their set point weight, um, yeah, because my cousins are the same way, my boyfriend, they just they eat whatever they crave and they don't think about it. For example, my boyfriend, he always, for his afternoon snack, what he eats is simply like a bunch of sweets. <laughs> and he always calls it like his afternoon snack. Like there is this term in Swiss German called Zvieri, which basically means to four, like four o'clock. So children, they eat at Znini and Zvieri, which is at like nine o'clock, at nine o'clock and four o'clock, which they call the the snack times. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, and he always tells me because sometimes I ask him what did you eat, and he was like, oh, I just ate like a um, slice of cake, and then some cookies, and some chocolate. And I'm like, oh, nice. <laughs> I find that so sweet. I don't know, it's like a child. <laughs> um, anyway, um, why did I drift off? Lately I've been feeling like I would like to eat more homemade stuff because I'm always out of the house because I'm so busy. It, it really, I feel like I'm exaggerating but I swear I'm not. Last year I've had so much time for myself and now I just don't at all anymore. So I feel like it's a um, kind of karma. Uh, but yeah, so now I always eat outside of the house. Hard life. <laughs> I always have to... Yeah, how do I say? I have always to buy my food. Um, so I eat a lot of those. For example... I just like salty pastries, you know what I mean? Like with maybe some not even describe it it's very swiss i think we have like those that are called spinach i forgot how they're called oh my god but yeah they're very popular they're like pastries um and they're just like this dough that is made out of i cannot speak english anymore but it's just very buttery and it has some spinach taste and it's amazing and I eat that very 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 often <laughs> and stuff like that just very like simple snacks that aren't too costly but will satiate me for the moment and so now I'm just craving to be a, a stay-at-home person because I'm like living such an extreme that I'm desiring the other extreme just to stay at home cook and chill and watch TV <laughs> Because I'm always working or at uni outside. Because I work 60% and I study nearly 100%, which is insane. It should be a part-time studies. But they managed to put in, like, out of... Because in Europe we have this credit system where you have 30 credits per semester if you're a full-time student. And if you're a part-time student, you study 21 credits. <sighs> And with working 60%, 21 credits is already a lot. 
or like enough because it's a lot of time but then they managed to put in 27 credits which is nearly a full-time study so i'm really really busy so yeah hard times <laughs> but next semester is gonna be a little less um credits i think maybe 23 24 so yeah i'm already now it's getting better because my weekends are a little bit less stressful and like our um lectures they have like eight blocks of lecture it's really weird we have 14 i'm telling you so many details about my life that you don't care <laughs> but we have 14 weeks during the semester but they have like each class is structured in eight blocks and so we had a lot of those blocks at the beginning of the semester and now oftentimes our days aren't as long anymore so i can have some more time to chill <laughs> which i'm very grateful for so the next few weeks are gonna be a little more relaxed and so i'm very very glad um because i couldn't have kept on doing the way i i was it was really too much sorry so now i'm looking forward to the next weeks and then Christmas is gonna be very busy with studying, but then it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> At least in like end of January and beginning of February, I have some time to chill. Um, I'm still working then, but just a little less stressed. So yeah. See you. Bye.